first century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone, let's celebrate We are the children of the sun I can see you when I look into your eyes We are the same, and we are light, and we are one Hear now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along We are awakening as one we can make a difference, yeah, we can be the change it takes to make the world a lot more fun. Well, if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are, oh, now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far. First century superhuman and I know that the answers are inside. Um, I want to introduce Iyak Weira. Iyak is a Andean shaman and he has spent his whole life going around the Andes and knowing about I'm just getting chills as I even talk about it, knowing about the um the extraterrestrial influence in the Andes and on the Inca people, the Peruvian people, and my co-host, Cecily Rossi. Welcome today, Cecily. Hello. We're doing these Cosmic Life shows once a week, every Wednesday usually, and I am not kidding you. I just have currents going through me, and we're so excited, Iak, to hear what you have to share with us. Tell us a little bit about your background. Um, Many of us, many of the people in my audience believe that we are from the stars. We are here with advanced DNA. We are here to be helpers in this time of great change, the shift of the ages for humanity taking the next step in their awakening, the great awakening, the, um, the process of living as more conscious beings. So we didn't know it was going to be so challenging, but here we are. And, um, <laughs> Lots of good things going on. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Oh, well, thank you for the invite, Cecily and Carrie. I'm very honored to be here sharing my research. And it's first time that I'm going to talk about in audience about my last researches about the influence of extraterrestrials with the Andean civilization. My background is I am a master in archaeology expert in Inca culture and Inca agriculture. I discovered 44 new sites at Machu Picchu. I worked there for five years and it was a really special to be there and finding new sites and feeling and feeling the connection of the power of this site with 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 the stars and is when the first time that I come to the Technological Application Center in the University of Albuquerque in New Mexico, where the director was Dario Rodriguez, this guy from Colombia, and we started researching the pictures of, of the satellites and also the Milky Way. And in that moment, I was so impressed and to find the same shape of Machu Picchu in the Milky Way. And this Milky Way sit over Machu Picchu in June, the whole month of June, the same shape of Machu Picchu that the river do around Machu Picchu sit over. And so since it, before, I believe that was more and more to, to find, to experience, because since young, I was introduced by my father, who is an anthropologist to the Inca, uh, civilization, Winslow, and I traveled with him since I was five years old to all these ancient remote communities, and I was alive, feeling and expecting all these rituals and ceremonies that they were doing. So I was involucrated since, since the kid, and then I was growing, and 
the the first thing that that come to to my life is what I want to be. I say I want to be an archaeologist, and all my friends and everybody was laughing and making fun of my choice to be an archaeologist, and now <laughs> they can see that archaeology is not the uh, easy, easy profession. It's more complicated than the people think because it's not like mathematics two plus two is four. Archaeology is a science that 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 you have to use your your brains and, and also observe and, and be analytical. And one of my first sessions very young in, in Pisa, Peru, I did and one black lady come and hug me. And when we had to each other, it was like an electrical shock that all the audience showed it. And right after that, she, she asked me, show me the palms of your hands. And I showed the palms of my hands. And she said, oh, my God, you are the same lineage that me from, from, from outside of this, 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 this planet. And I feel chills. And, and I have two perfect M's in the palms of my two hands. Mm, I have and so since then, I, I started wondering more. And one night that when I was 19 years old, I was in a club in Cusco, was the New Year's Eve night. And was this lady with perfect black straight hair, blue eyes, and she came to me and with a perfect Spanish, but with a male voice, she was female, but with a male voice, she said, if I want to drink something, and she buy me some drinks, and we start to dancing, and like 20 minutes before midnight, she said, let's go in a taxi, let's go to the mountains. And I imagine, oh wow, this is gonna be an interesting <laughs> new new year. So I I run with her. We get in the in the taxi in the cab, and, and we go up. And she asks to the taxi driver, "Stop here." And I say, "No, it's, the, the, no, 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 it's here." I say, "You don't know. It's more farther." And say, "No, we're gonna get out here." And we get out there, and we walk, and there was a path in there, and she knows perfect all the way. I, I was impressed. And in a moment, she disappeared. And I was getting freaked out. And I was, you know, almost to run back and say, hey, I'm here. Come on, come on. And I say, don't, 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 don't play with me in this way because I'm scary. So I follow her. And then we get in a place. We open the bottles of champagne. We make a toast. And then she say, I need to use the ladies' room. We were in the in the forest, you know, like the trees. And so she ran there and I was waiting, 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 and never she came back. And then I really freak out and I run, I get to the club again and I asked my friend who was the barman, said, Did you know this girl? How many days she was coming here? And say, I saw her in a couple of days. And so I say, I'm gonna wait here because she's gonna hear me because I am scared. <laughs> and never I saw her. When I was in San Francisco, in Market the Streets, there is a, a mall close to Christmas time, like maybe 10 years later, I was in the escalator going and was so a strong connection that I turned. I was the same lady, but with blonde hair. Like in the movie, I, was, I want to jump to, to the escalator to the other side, but I couldn't, so I tried to run and, and and talk to her and she ran too. And then when I come back to Peru, I talked to one of my friends that is involucrated into extraterrestrials. And I say, I have this experience and in Peru and then just now that I've been in, in, in California, I saw her again and I am really, I don't know if, if I can believe that could be the same person. And he asked me, who is her? And he said, the, the physical features. And he said, well, all the features that they're telling me is an extraterrestrial living here. And so he has this huge book with pictures and with draws. And I was looking with him, and I found her. Oh, my God. Her name is Oxal. Wow. And I was chill, and he invited me to do this experience in public. 
And so since then, I was more interested to find these things. And I, I became an archaeologist, but, you know, I was coming here to talk with all the American Archaeologist Society, uh, giving lectures about my discoveries. But these people are so narrow in, in the belief because they think that we are not connected with extraterrestrials. And they think that Machu Picchu was the summer house of Pachacutic because they think that, like the capitalist society, they were building nice places for, for vacation, but the Incas were more advanced that they don't care about vacation. There was something more in, important for them. And so when 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 I met this guy from, from the technological like, application center and I started researching with satellite images, I was impressed. And then I started to, to, to using master plans and in all my journeys in master plans, they were showing me I was with extraterrestrials all the time. And they were showing me these advanced technologies. And in late, lately, I do ayahuasca and I connect with them and they take me under, under the ocean. And they have a base in there. And they have this amazing technology that, you know, you are in, in this trance and you see all those things, but then you can explain because it's so advanced. And I am 100% that they are, they are connected with us and they are there and they've been here since our beginning because <clears throat> all the oral tradition in the Andes talk about Viracocha, the, the light that is in the, in the sky. The light that is in the sky, there are the, the UFOs and these people that were coming. And the similarity of the constructions with megalithic rocks exists in all the planet, not just in Peru. It's in Africa, it's in Asia, it's in the States, it's everywhere. Because it was a big coming of the extraterrestrials and they manipulate genes and they have us as a workers because they were the, who direct these things and who come first was the Anunnaki and they come to exploit the gold and also the I don't know how to say it in English is estaño estaño is another mineral that that also they were extracting and taking to their planets hmm. and so the 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 Vira culture figure in in if we can show the first picture yes uh, Estaño so is it's, it's ten. Amazing. Ten, interesting. Ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Give yeah. me just a second. They, they were using this because the Anunnaki is used tons of gold, and also you know now in in some cosmetic and aesthetic things they use gold because I think they were using it in, in also for for some type of, of longevity of things for the yeah, health absolutely. the gold I mean, and so uh, the the construction and the amazing quality of work that they were doing with the stones is impossible to do with just stones and shifting. That is impossible. complete, complete insane to think that they were doing it that yes. way. Plus they were they were able to cut these huge megalithic rocks that have 100, 200 tons, how they were able to move because they were thinking that, you know, oh, this ancient civilization, they don't know anything, but these ancient civilizations have the knowledge of the extraterrestrials because otherwise they wouldn't be able to build that. So they were more advanced than we are now. They have So we do, we, do, we do have the first image up, the black and white one with the guy with the two things in his hand. Okay. He's the Biracocha and they repeat in Tiahuanaco that is in the Altiplano, close to the Titicaca Lake. Also, Chavin, that is another ancient civilization in the Andes, has the representation of the same personage. And then the Nazca, Paracas, the Chimu, the Lambayeque, the Mochica. So all of these regional kingdoms in the area of the Andes represent the guy with different names. And it's all over the world the Olmecs, the Sumerians, we have a lot with the Sumerians because the Sumerians were the base of the Anunnaki. And also the elongate head is the, 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 the guys that 
descend direct from them. Because there is a, 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 a theory that they say, oh no, the, this Andean civilization, they were flattering the skulls. It's impossible. You right. can't flatter the skulls, but the, your skull is not going to grow. Yes. Because this has elongated the skull. You can deformate your skull, but no make bigger. Right? It's huge skull right. where the capacity of your brain too is bigger. Right. And so, Tell us again who this uh, the yeah, guy is. So, the black and white is Biracocha. They call Vira Vira Co Cocha. Vira Cocha. The Biracocha is the god of the Incas. Okay. The, the god of the Andean civilization. They call different names in different regions, but they represent the same guy with the uh, uh, sticks in his hand. It's not a, 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 a pole, but there are stick. There are some kind of tools that tools, they use for right. power. Yeah. yeah. Do you think tools. he's an ET? Yes, definitely yes, because we are going to continue explaining and and all the features of these persons are aliens. Plus, in Chabin, where we saw in the pictures, there is this 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 humanoids that with faces of eagles and felines and like uh, eagles are these uh, extraterrestrials that are persons that they have that 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 shape that 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 uh, contexture in their bodies it's not like people say oh no they were creating imagination or they maybe they dream some 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 Alison objects and they were trying to represent no Right. We know that that in the in the extraterrestrials they are this type of. We have a couple of questions um, from our um, yes. our listeners. One okay. is, why were the Anunnaki obsessed with gold? Well, because the Anunnaki use in their in their planet gold, and when they, their mission was go all over the, the, the universe, finding places where they can extract this gold. They, the gold was important for their living. They say they protect their planet and also they use for, for, for like a nurture, yeah. some a small amounts of gold. And now we, we prove to here in the cosmetic industry, now they are using gold. Right. And they are making your skin rejuvenate and things. I think they use it on spaceships too to protect from radiation oh, yeah. in space. Yeah, they they say that the Anunnaki were using this gold because yes, they protect from radiation their their planet. So, do you have any? If we see the Sumerians, Sumerians are the most amazing remains that the Anunnaki live and in carvings in the stones. And I I, I have so many pictures that was you know too much to put but maybe in, the, in another another session we can just yes provide all these figures and, and carbines and things and show okay that also this person as in the sumerians has elongated schools like was in the inca and and that. and other thing that is amazing is the anunnakis in sumerians the first god is called enka right and in the Andean, they call Inca. Oh, Inca and so, Inca. Oh, yeah. Like yes. Enki. So, Inca. Oh, yes. my goodness. Enki, yeah. What a so it's, You know, I am telling new thing that humanity didn't hear about this. Yes. And I'm sure many, many people will say that I'm crazy or not. But no. I believe that yeah. I am close to the truth. So we should because we I researched so many years, yes. and this is this this is my passion. You know, yes. I love what I do. Mission in this in this life is is to to rescue, research, and share with humanity all this ancient wisdom. Beautiful. And also, I get deep into the healing arts using master plants, and most of those master plants come from the extraterrestrials. Wow! Because three four thousand years ago in the Shavin culture in the Andes. There is this personage that is with with figures like a uh, 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 a bird and also as a reptile in, in in their hair, and he's holding in his hand this cactus that is called Wachuma. 
yeah. that the Spaniards called San Pedro because when when one of these Spanish guys that come drink the San Pedro, drink the Wachuma, he said, oh my God, this plant is not Wachuma, this plant is San Pedro because right. open, San Pedro is the guy that has the keys of heaven. Oh. And he said, when you drink this, you're in heaven. Wow. And so it's that DMT activation, the more the, the, the DMT is from, oh, come from, from extraterrestrial. And also the, the, the Wachuma has mescaline, ah. the, com, the, com, the bigger compound that has the, the cactus is mescaline. And one of my, in my sessions, I asked one of my clients and this lady, I say, what do you, Feel and what you can tell me about Wachuma, San Pedro. And she gave me the most amazing answer that I heard in my life is doing Wachuma is mm. like feeling everything at once. Mm. That is perfect. Mm. Enhance your senses, open your heart, teach your compassion. Other guys say, if the people in the planet will drink Wachuma never will be hitters, never will be worse, never will be envious, never will be nothing. Right. We will live in peace. That is why these people use these medicines. And since in the 1900s, when Rockefeller started using the, the petrol oil into the, the chemistry for, for, for pharmacy, they start to avoid these amazing plants because they knew that these plants heal, and so they right. don't want that. And so they dismiss and they say illegal, they are drugs, and they persecute all the civilizations that they have this knowledge. And also, for me, the invasion of the Spaniards to, to, this, to America and, and, and all America, North, Central, and South America, was not because they were looking for, for treasure things. Because the Jesuits is the part of the Illuminati that they were trying to control always. And so the Jesuits bring all these people here to kill this knowledge. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because this and, was advanced. And they were kind of the founders of Catholicism, which got, or the, you know, they were yeah. the ones spreading The first it. church in Cusco, Peru was the Jesuits. Yes. The people don't, don't have have to open their minds, yes. have to see that yes. that is what happened. We need to open our the minds. They don't understand because, yes. of course, yes, think because they, 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 they think that, oh, was the invasion for the gold, for the treasure? No, was the kings, they know because they belong to these societies that they don't like right we and, we we keep growing and so they try to destroy and of right. course they destroy it we could because go because then yeah they, they kill all the people with knowledge and they leave just the population yes but even they leave the population the population is still practicing these ceremonies these things nice and we start trying to recover all this trying to learn more of them Yay. and share with community because yes. this is important. Well, and that's our memory of our intuition, of being connected with our heart. All those things need to be recovered. Go ahead, Sess. What were you going to say? It just, well, well, I've always had this feeling yeah. like I want to remember what I used to know. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it's, I think it's like what Yak is talking about. Like yeah. we intrinsically know that there's so much more than we're being told or that we're taught and yeah we know especially because we're you know enhanced. because you know all all these ancient things we have imprinting our, our dna yeah so you just want to remember reawake re-empower yes. yes. and release yes yeah and how we do that using these master plants yes. that open to yeah. this other uh, realms that we can see and yes. we can understand so, and that is why they persecute and now it's illegal to use these things because they don't want the people awake right that's right I, 
I, I want to ask that a question related to you were talking about the Anunnaki having an under the earth area where they actually live and come and go from. And what I'm wondering is, do you see that as multidimensional? Do you see, um, mm-hmm. is your perception from everything you've learned in the Andes and the things that you've been able to study, do you see them living in another dimension than us or another frequency or is it physical like the physical world how do you see it's, that it's, it's physical that they are present mm-hmm. and not just Anunnaki. there is different other mm-hmm. uh, extraterrestrial uh, races that are coming to the earth since at the beginning yes because always was the the, the controlling and try to prevail who are the more powerful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so they were here in presence and there are some with good intentions and other are with the really bad things that they want. Right. Like it's happening now, you know. Yeah. If we if we see the 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 the, the, the life of these powerful people that control the planet right now, they are not from just now. They come for centuries, right? Yes, and they they build the history in the way that they want. They hid it many things, and and they destroy information. Yeah, and the people believe that. And one of the most powerful tools that they have is the religion. Religion mm-hmm. make us believe, mm-hmm. and people still thinking that oh you're gonna be safe and right. don't yeah. go, nobody's gonna be safe if you don't save yourself learn and the way you save yourself is learning yeah respecting your body eating healthy because with all this pandemic or pandemic people you know have to learn to nurture people that are good that their immune system is good they don't have to worry about that thing right because i think i have a couple times the the covid but maybe it was 24 hours. I feel throwing up. I feel chills. I, I have diarrhea. But then after 24 hours, I, I was okay. Right. With not taking nothing. Right. Because since 10 or 15 years ago, I have in my life, the most important is in the morning, I have supplements. And lately, I am using my Andean supplements. Because... Nice. I, I have my lines of products that I will I will put to the public soon, superfoods and supplements that are all natural from the Andes. Awesome. And I take those things and I feel super good. I feel every time more energetical and my young friends say, what you're doing? Because it's, it's incredible. You are doing the ceremony all night long and you're still going with energy. I said, well, no, it's, it's what I eat, I think. It's the only thing that they can say. And also meditation and practice affirmations that are good, amazing tools. And the motto is rise your, 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 your frequency, do meditation. And meditation is the tool that helped me a lot and saved my life. Really heartbreak and feeling no good and affirmations and meditations save my life. Mm-hmm. And so that is a powerful tool that that comes from ancient, ancient times. And we have to use those tools. Can you see your image here? Yes. Okay. That is, for example, in Tiawanaco, mm-hmm. that is the 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 Viracocha that in the in the Tiawanaco they call Taipicala. And is the same representation of of this god that the Incas call Viracocha. And Viracocha is the light in the water, in the lake. Ah, and so, but, so maybe the spaceship was going into the lake. Yes. And, you know, in all the top part, there is some symbols. And um, with my teacher, Dr. Chavez, uh, Chavez Bayon, Manuel Chavez Bayon, he was an amazing guy. We used to study and he in- interpreted the calendar. This is an amazing calendar wow. because all has a, a signification. And the other thing that in here is, look, this humongous 
piece of rock, very shaped, smooth, perfect, perfect angles. You know, if you're going to think that you're going to chip with a stone, with a stone, it's impossible to have this perfection. Yes. Because experts from all over the world, they come to study and they say there is no tool in this moment in the earth that can do this type of work. Yes, this is amazing. So it's amazing. It's you so know, advanced. You know what's interesting about him too is he has either little short legs or no legs. I have a carving here in Mexico that looks very similar to him. And the guy has little short legs that are kind of folded up in an odd position underneath him. And um, I'll show it to you in a minute when my video is back on. But um, okay. he looks, it's a similar physiology. So were they just really little people or were they in altered bodies? They, they, they are extraterrestrial, they are little people because in Paracas weavings, there is a lot of these tiny personages. Uh -huh. They are the big ones and they are tiny. Like uh, Just recently in the desert of, of Paracas, Gaia went there to, to, yeah. to see these small, tiny 60 centimeters yeah. mummies yeah. and they were thinking that they were fake and they were real and has just four four fingers yeah. or three, I think, and they're real. Right. And so at this, because we have all the elements that are proven. Yeah. We, we can be so blind to don't be able to see that this is real. Well, it could also be that he's wearing a dress or some kind of a tunic or something. Oh, know? yeah. They, they have like, dress. They have some yeah. symbols in their dress. But it's amazing. Hey. It's, all this is to represent all over the planet right. in different figures. Yeah, the, the, the interpretation is that this calendar is in base of, of course, the solar system, but in different way. The, 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 the calendar of then was 13, 13 months, 28 days. It was like the period of the cycle of the females. Mm -hmm. 28 days, 13 months. Ah, very cool. And how about the holes in the sides? Well, that calls is, is not an explanation. No explanation. Because in the back side of this, also, there is some carvings that are some kind of squares and, and rectangles. Should we go to the next uh, one? Yeah. yeah. This is the wow. same in Tiwanaku because Tiwanaku was the connection in the Andes with the Anunnaki. And the Anunnaki was the first that came to the earth. And so in, in, in this in these constructions are representations of these figures of this personage that they come. And in, in the chronicles, 1560, 1600, the Indians at that time when the Spaniards asked, what do you remember about the ancient civilizations or the ancient uh, your ancestors? And the Indians say, here, long ago, they used to live white people with blonde hair, blue eyes. Wow. They are the Anunnaki's. Wow. So it's, 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 it's more and more every time clear that we were manipulated by these guys and they created us. Here, for example, you can come back to the picture that is up. There is many small carving heads no, no, they're here, for example. They were explaining what is those heads, why they put these heads. And, and those heads, if you start to see one different to the other one, they have different features. And so it's like different races of humans that they were creating. Wow. And these are connecting with different other civilizations in the planet because some kind of Asian features, others have black features, and and you know this is 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 what what they were showing the variety of races that they were in in the planet. It's not yeah. that they were putting like ornaments or, or, or they yeah. say they cut the heads of the of the of the enemies, enemies and they were represented. No, it's not like that. Beautiful. And also, this has to be connected with, with the cycles of the sun, the Milky Way. Most of these, these, these sites have more meaning when you see when the sun rises and sunset, the shadows. It's incredible that they do a perfect figures in the shadow. 
mm. pyramids and and also the the zigzag that 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 they represent and 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 in many many places has the the shadows almost the same the same shape we can continue and see more more of the pictures that are amazing yeah yeah there's almost the same picture you can pass yeah the, and and this 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 doors there is one that is it's a portal some portals to connect with another dimension yes 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 and there is one place near here that i didn't put the the the, the, the picture is called the puma punku amaru amaru muru si. and is a huge wall that also exists in in the summers and in other parts and there is hole circular hole that you put your third eye and in that hole have to be fit with a gold figure ah. that fits in there and open this portal mm. and people and also David Wilcox and all these guys uh, were talking about in their video about this disc but they didn't have the correct information and in the last picture in this is the, that this that fits in there. Mm. And finally, that this is back in Peru, in Cusco, because it was in a collection of some of the museums. Wow. And so I would be so excited to, to be able to prove and put that this in that in that hall and go wherever it's going to take me. <laughs> because I'm not afraid to do that. Yeah. <gasps> There they are. So you can see here the yeah. there are different shapes, yeah. different figures oh. of faces. Yeah. And that represent different ethnicities, different mm -hmm. different races. Mm -hmm. And that the same they represent in the Chapin that they want to see in other pictures. They have black people, they are people that come from Africa, from and it's the same that the Olmecs, the Olmecs in Mexico, they are blacks, they are huge. Of course. And, and you say, holy God, these guys were, no, these were not, because the Anunnaki were bringing all these people to work in the, to extract the gold. Interesting. Well, I'd love to meet some of them, the Anunnaki, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, hmm, I have a question. It's just, to, you know, if you do meditation and, and open and connect, you will be able to, to, si. to connect with them because, yeah. One time, very young, maybe I was 15, 16, I was at Saxe Woman in Peru, and we used to go there with my friends, smoke weed and, and at night and, and, and play, like, you know, one, everybody hit themselves and one have to find someone and who is fine first, then the rest is, is, is have to hit in and, and it was fun to play that thing. And then in one moment, I sit in this throne of stones. And when I sit in there, I feel this heat come into my body. And right after I feel that I was peeing in my pants. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh my God, I am peeing in my pants. I, oh, I can't control this. And I touched my, my pants and it was dry. And I couldn't understand why it happened that. And later, I understood that it was super strong energy that came mm. and was flowing in my body. Yes. That feels like there was peeing in my pants. But I was not peeing in my pants. It was Beautiful. powerful energy. So I was so lucky that I live close to all these areas and I was able to walk and go and, 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 and feel the energy of these places and learn from it. Yes. This is other carvings, for example, huge rocks, perfect carvings. It's impossible to do by hand with, with a stone by stone, you know. It's, it's not possible. It's, it's impossible. Archaeologists say, no, they do by hand. No, right. it's, it's not possible. If you will do by hand, chip in, you will take millions of years to, to, to do these old constructions, you know. It's impossible. And also, they leave these mega stones. Oh, there's a lot of tons. And so, right. if that time they don't have this tool, they have other tools. And they say that 
they were able to make levitate the stones with frequencies of sound. Mm -hmm. Yes. And others say that they make holes in different parts of the of the stones and they put different uh, minerals in there and then they transform the molecular weight of the stones and they were able to lift like levitation. And, and those, those, those theories are more close that, you know, you were going to pull or lift or, no, it's important. Yeah, too, it's, it's a perfection, you know. They harmonize the beauty of the, of, the, of the stones and the landscape. And they build these amazing places for some special, special purpose. It's not like, you know, vacation or the temple or the of the castles they, they don't have that 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 uh, way of thinking that yeah yeah that politic that oh i'm gonna make my castle i'm gonna make my 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 summer house but no because they were so advanced to be yeah. thinking in 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 things that that these people don't 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 have that type of life, you know. Some of the ideas they were that... more spirituals. They were more into the reality, and most of them, the the what they do was fit well and teach the well world to the to the to the civilization to their population. I believe that the Incas has this program that was created. And they transmit generation by generation by oral tradition. And the education is start at home. When the father at night in this small room that was called house, because they have just one room, they don't have the, 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 the idea that living room, dining room, no. They have one room that is in one corner, the stove where they cook, and then part the storage where they store their their production and then they have a place where they eat and then in the floor they put the 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 skins of the llamas alpacas and they sleep in there and so at night before they go to sleep the father starts telling them stories when the father is telling to the kids these stories the kids are developing their imagination and so these kids were creating amazing things in, in imagine when the father is talking. So they transform the words into images. And it's how we have to teach our kids because now our kids are losing that capability to creativity and imagination because kids don't want to read anymore because they want to see images that are moving. And what they are learning in these images that are moving is, is garbage. Mm. Because all these cartoons for the kids are now are are are, are not not good. Mm. They are watching their brains. They are teaching nasty things. Yes, pornography, or things that 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 they are teaching, thinking that that is good. But why? Because these the power people are sick and they want you know yeah. opening. And, and, and make things that the kids is, is correct, all those things. Yes, mm -hmm. I think part so, of your point of the ancient people being, um, being involved, engaged in their spiritual growth, in their imagination, and not so much in materialism. And some of what we've been exposed to recently is some of these kind of buildings were even perhaps capacitors for energy on the planet. Yes. Yes, many of those constructions, yeah, it's like a batteries that, yeah. that they transmit energy. Yes. yes. Yeah. In fact, um, Teotihuacan in Mexico City, if you look at it from above, looks exactly like a battery, right? Yeah. 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 Many of these places, and most of these places, you know, the pyramid shape exists in all the earth. Yeah. And the pyramid is a perfect geometry that creates energy. Aligned with the stars, and yes. um, yeah, there must have been a huge civilization that e existed way before that we have zero record of. In a way, I mean, it's going to be uncovered, obviously, because it is being uncovered. Yeah. yeah. Look, for example, this image is amazing. These features 
repeat in all over the world, the eyes, the things. And this is not any race in, in this planet. There are races that they come from outside. This represents also in the Esther Island in, in Chile, yeah. that there are these right. huge among uh, carvings that these guys are looking to the ocean. There are, I don't know how many. And so we have remains and also the, 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 the heads and the hats that they have in there. And the posture is almost the same they are in, 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 in in, in their hands, in their belly, and and uh, the the shape of the mouth is 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 me. It's amazing. It's amazing. I am more more believe that that this come from extraterrestrials and they are our ancestors and we are created by them. Yes. They manipulate our genes and they will they created us mm -hmm. because that things that the evolution me as an archaeologist is impossible. Because why evolution is gonna stop? If we were evolving from the monkeys, why don't they don't still evolving? You know, <laughs> why is gonna stop the evolution? This is the same the the, the figure with the two sticks that That's the people culture, being, right? that repeat. There is many figures. I didn't have the time to put all together because <laughs> there are so many pictures, and they are repeat in different areas of Peru. The same figures the same shape holding the two sticks and if you see the eyes the the, yeah. the figure of the, the faces are are people that are connected with all the other civilizations in the planet it's interesting all this see what i was saying the, the way how they have the hands in, in the yeah. belly part that's what the moya do too right in yeah mm -hmm. yeah this, this is similar and there is in in in, in asia there is in africa in Europe, in uh, all over, all over. So uh, different the, the the figures, but the same meaning. And then the so symbols it's, it's, on the outside of what he's wearing, the spirals yes. and the, and then his feet look. Uh, they don't even look like real normal feet, right? Yeah, and and we are gonna see in the other figures. They are like eagles. They are felines, and and you know. What they teach in the school is that all oh, these guys were imagining these figures. No, when they were not imagined. They, they yeah. are beings that, that it's they so funny. All this space. They come and for example, these these huge pieces of rock, there is one that is like in T shape. I think it's in Turkey or Pakistan somewhere that there's these huge rocks that with the T shape. Mm -hmm. And they are power tools. They are like energy being the constructions that they create energy. Mm. Because there is a huge, huge uh, project in, I think it's in Pakistan or Turkey, that the archaeologists for many years are carving and they're finding these huge rocks that have the same T shape the map of the place and you can see the reconstruction in the draw that the pyramids all over the planet we have mm. pyramids yeah yeah and 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 why in some parts the the pyramids are too quiet that that and meet in the top because the top is meet in the moment that the humans do the the ritual and that is the space of the wisdom you fill that part of the pyramid with energy. For example, this huge rock, how they carve so flat, so perfect. All the, the, the carvings are amazing in perfection. And many of the constructions, you go and put the, 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 the compass and it's pointing to the north. How, how do these people know? Mm. Because they, they have the knowledge and they have other more advanced tools that they were using to mm. to 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 perfect locate these things in according to the to the to the poles. This is the same other type mm. of figure carving with with uh, with the small hands, the small legs. Yeah, that's a small guy. Yes. Yeah, but the eyes, this, these things, everything. Look, this this is a perfection. Yeah. This is something that is incredible. So and if you think they are gonna be carving and chipping with a stone by a stone, no. 
that, 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 that is impossible. Really? It looks like it's made with a... Uh, Even laser can do that. Yes. Looks like it's many, like many... computer designed or something. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like 3D printing. 3D printing, <laughs> exactly. That's what yeah. it looks like. I've been saying that a lot lately as we look at old structures. That you and know. Now here is in other side. This is in north, like maybe it's 2,000 miles north to to to, to Titicaca Lake. It's Chabin, and also it's ancient mm -hmm. place with different carvings wow. and have under 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 the earth uh, temples. I have a, a memory of this place. I and also, they have this this aqueduct under, mm -hmm. and when the the water run through this this these channels under the earth, they have some some spaces that come out, and make like these amazing sounds that they come the water. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> And you are in, in, in San Pedro or something, wow, you tripping and going in another <laughs> dimension. And perfect carving, circular things, yeah. huge stones. The bodies, mm -hmm. this was destroyed. Oh my you know, God, it's gorgeous. Yeah. 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 Look at that. All that was destroyed. And they used the stones to build the churches, Catholic churches and right. construction because it was, it was crazy. In this, for example, these faces that, that, that are not from any area in Peru or so, uh, South America. Right. Mm -hmm. These guys are from Africa or from other 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 planet. And also, the Sumerians had similar kind of carvings in their heads, the noses. Mm -hmm. Because when when, G, when I study archaeology, they were teaching me that there were these guys, you know, imaginations of these guys when they were using some right. hallucinogenic plants, they were imagining and carrying. No, they are not imagining. That was real people. That, that, yes. that is the under underground temples and passages. For some of three different stones and three different shapes and. And the, the teeth you can see, one have these huge teeth, yeah. the other have the small teeth, and it's amazing. Yes. Yeah. And and this guy that is in, in the in this picture is is a part of felling, part of part of eagle, and it's amazing. Is 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 a being that come from from out of the space and they were representing him as a, maybe one of the heads of this this civilization mm, wow. and this so, is under so under amazing. earth yeah. yeah yeah it's huge and it's amazing and wow this wow. is it's really impressive i have a question about the under earth stuff like what was it like down there were um some of the beings maybe more comfortable living under the earth like different kinds of beings do you think or what do you know about well that? you know there is this this these passages or, or tunnels under earth that mm -hmm. uh, exist in Cusco mm -hmm. and exist in, in Catamarca, exist in, in different parts of, of the of, of the the South America and the mm -hmm. place and the, the, the oral tradition say that for example in Cusco the, the tunnels go to, to Chavin, to Cajamarca, to mm -hmm. different parts. Mm -hmm. And and in a moment, you know, it was like a history or something that possible. But now we are we are finding all over the planet. Yeah, absolutely. These these tunnels and these huge places in there because right. since I was a kid, my grandmother told me that in these tunnels you go deep, and there is lakes inside, and there is huge huge places inside, and she said that. She remembered her father telling her that they, they used to get deep in this in this tunnel, and they throw stones, and it was like a lake in there because they got plucked. Yeah. And then in the fifties, nineteen fifties, I think the the government blocked this, blowing with dynamite the, the entrance because there were people that they were going to to explore and they never will coming back. Mm -hmm. Wow. And there's a story that say that one guy 
one day that they were doing uh, uh, the mass ceremony at, at the Santo Domingo church that was the Cori Cancha, the main temple of the Incas. And over this temple, the, the Dominicans built this, this, this uh, church. And there is under this church, the tunnels too. And yeah. so when they were doing the, 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 the mass service, they heard that in this gate uh, that was with, with wood, somebody started to knocking, boom, boom, boom. And all the, the people, the audience that was in the church, they were scared because even the priest. And so when they opened this, 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 this door, was a man really, really sick, but he has this corn in his hand that was pure gold. And he had um, gone so in under the tunnel. He gone right? in this adventure to, to, to get the treasures that they talk about. I want to say, look at the little so, feet and arms on this. Yeah, character. this is oh the same God. figure. Like I said, yeah. it's, it's the same. Oh they God. repeat. Yeah, and yeah. this is this is real because these these beans are in 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 all over Peru in, yeah. in the Nazcas, the Mochicas they represent in their paintings, the Nazcas in their in their textiles right. and also in their ceramic. And also they found this this skeletons of these small beans in 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 Paracas, Nazca. And this- Gaia has a, a, a special uh, episode about these mummies of Nazca. But do you think this is the same? Because to me, I've seen I've seen those from the Atacama Desert. The, um, it looks so different. That their face is so much more um, oval, and this guy's face is really big. You know what I mean? They look like yeah, little- but you know, uh, yeah. And in the, in the textiles, they represent these guys, the same guys. Okay, the yeah. Oval thing. That was a mummy, so it might have been like the shape might have changed too. Yeah, of- possible. Yeah. Yeah. See. Yeah, you're right. And then look here. This 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 carving is in this rock that, of course, the rock is not well preserved, but they do the carving, and it's a personage that has mm. human part, felling part, and also has a lot of snakes coming out. Wow. And different heads, and it's not the imagination because. You know, in Star Wars, we are seeing these beings that that they have this these shapes. This this these beings that live in other on other planets, in other galaxies, possible. So it's not imagination. Are beings that they've been here and they carry to to remember them? Like like also the, in gold, like yeah. some of the ancient Hindu gods they have. You know, so many. oh yeah. Mm-hmm. For example, the same here in gold. They do this, 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 this representation of this being in gold with blue eyes. So it's, it's not, it's not human. Yeah, it's not human. It's like has an octopus that has a lot of legs and also has hands in the front and they are different, the ears, huge mouth. So it's not imagination. It's not that. Oh, do you no. think? Do you think? Well, it could be that they're luminous and they have so much light, or do you think they're just like? Could be too, but it's more that it's real. For example, this yeah. guy holding yeah. the cactus, that is the San Pedro, uh-huh. is part human, part uh, uh, bird, and part uh, felling because it has a sheep teeth, and the and the hair is look like snakes having in his hair. And it was, you pass to the next picture, is a draw that is more clear, so they can see it better. Yeah, see? Oh. Oh my God! <laughs> and this is three thousand be- before Christ, but uh, I'm sure that it's older than that because if we have better technology to date the the, the time, it will be more. And 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 it's incredible. It's, it's showing us that the cactus they were using years, thousands of years, and now we are still using this. Yeah. And this is a magic plant because this teach you. If humanity will use these things, you will help people with PSTD, with anxiety, with with uh, psychosis, different uh, emotional problems. Yeah. yeah. So that's San Pedro. That is Wachuma that he's holding. <laughs> yes, because the Spanish call San Pedro because this this priest after has the experience. He said, "No, this plant is San Pedro because opened you the doors of heaven." Yeah, it's, it's feeling because it's it's last like seven eight hours, and it's in waves. You are so in peace, and then you feel nothing, and then come back 
enhance your your senses. Mm. You're gonna hear miles away the noises that are happening. And when you breathe, it's like you are floating in the space. It's amazing. Mm. This is another figure, like it's an eagle too, and having this this stick like the, the tool. And it has human part, has also ornaments in the head with with condors, heads and 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 also in the, on the side. So it's, it's, it's personages that they exist at the time. This is the most uh, amazing uh, reminds that we have of, of these figures of other other type of humans that exist in that in the in the moment in the planet. And of course, you know, the science tell us that oh no, these are this. This is another part in Peru that is called Sechin. And for example, in this area, all that you find is people cut in pieces. You can see here the stomach, the head, the insides of the person, the, the bones. You know, they were not crazy that they represent that they kill or mutilate the head of the person. They are a center where they were learning maybe to, to manipulate genes and they were working and they represent all these things in in this in this carvings. Yeah, wow, amazing. Yeah, and, and, and it's ancient too. So you can see here and this 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 personage has a head and a hat in there that looks like in the Sumerian carvings. And those are very old too, very old. So we have a lot of remains that is still alive in there and and are telling us we are here, we were here, and you have to learn from here. Oh yeah. Yeah, because it's it's it's, it's impressive. It's, it's something that really catch my attention and I am deep going more and more and also using the, the master plans to, to to guide me and take me to these places. And like I say, I connect a lot with with extraterrestrials in my journeys. And this is one of the most amazing things that I was talking. This is the goal circle that fits in this portal that is in Amar Muru. Ah. And people see and they don't know, they, they can see the things. We were talking about the wow. small carvings that we were seeing in the in the in, in the rocks. If you see the tiny oval heads on the side of the first level of the of the circle, they are just the heads and and are these these guys, these entities. And then if you see the big eyes, it's the same the big eyes of this carving in the rocks. Mm -hmm. And then this this the, the, the two things like antennas in the, that mountain. make the noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the first, for example, in the top, in the in the in, in your left, there is this oval head, are these tiny figures that, that are in, in the carvings. In the carvings, not the whole body, but here is just the head. And then the whole figure in the center, this is a UFO. And I believe all the people that are around. Are the, the who manipulate the the, the 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 this this UFO, and the whole face in the center, the big eyes, the mouth and the teeth, and then they have the two tiny heads of these oval heads that are these these aliens that are in the carvings in the mm -hmm. weavings, and then the noise have this the noise and then the, the nose and then they have this oval thing and then has two antennas yeah and is i believe that is the the, the head of who commands these things and when you fit this in this in this portal mm -hmm. you could respond and this is made in gold mm -hmm. amazing amazing and amazing. so this is a new information that I discover and, and, and I am telling to all the humanity that is what I, I, I am researching. Mm -hmm. And I believe that has a lot of more information to, yeah. to rescue from this. It looks like it's written in star glyphs, like there's a lot of information. Yes, there, there is a lot of information in there that, that have symbols that we have learned. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, definitely.
Yeah. yeah, and and when 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 I was in in, in ayahuasca, I have this figure in in a twenty four inches, twenty seven inches screen, mm. and it is when I was able to see the whole figure because before I was looking just normal, like oh that is nice, Karen, but this jumped my face in 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 like in in high level. And I said, oh, my God, this is this. These are the, the tiny missions that are in, in all the carvings and all the weavings. And then the eyes, the things make like a figure, but it's an object. It's a flying object. And they have different symbols all over there telling you a lot of information that you have to learn. And the symbols that are still there, I'm sure we have to connect and learn more and, and try to to share with humanity and and these are lessons that are hit there it's real so we we if we pretend that no there is not connection with extraterrestrial we were just alone all the time no it's, that is not true I, I believe that we were manipulated genetically by the extraterrestrial and they create us and now what is happening is too that the cycle is repeating that they they are trying to create a transhumans and using this new uh, technology, the artificial intelligence and all those things. This is because a carving cycle. that we came to our house in Mexico and here it is. Yeah, yeah, it's similar. Yeah, it's similar. similar. Body you, you can see it's, it's, it's the same thing that exists all over. That one really Just looks like the mummy. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's totally all over the looks planet, like you know? With the head shape and everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm. It's, it's everywhere. So we have the same background in, 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 our, in our planet. Yeah. And the controlling always was disturbing, destroying, dividing. Like, you know, is a, is a, is a technology or a technique that divide it and you will conquer more. Mm -hmm. And it's what is happening now to the yeah. people that get the job, the people that don't get the job. Now they are humans being going to be confronting as enemies. Yeah. And we need to remember <laughs> our oneness. Yeah. Because if we stick together, we are more powerful than if we divide it. Yes. Yeah. But the people that control one division because they can easy control. So, yes. yeah. And we have to keep learning from the wisdom because it's the way that they live in peace. And what we need is live in peace and focus. All the governments, instead of thinking in different things, they will remind that what ancient civilization do, the Incas were the master in agriculture. And the main thing that they they were able to do is nurture well to the population. Yes. Beautiful. The Spaniards, when they, they write the chronicle side, these Indians are crazy because they have joy when they go to work the land and it's a hard work because they want to work hard because they will have more food. Yes. And if you have fill your stomach and nurture well your body, you are capable to do anything. Yes. But if you are not nurturing well your body and soul, you are not capable to do nothing. Right. The so Incas has more, more 6,000 varieties of potatoes, more than 500 varieties yes. of corn, cereals, roots, tubers, herbs, fruits. It's amazing. It's amazing. Cecily, go ahead. I would like um, to ask Moses to do a show about that. Yes. A whole different show about the superfoods and all that, because I, that's how I met him. That was would be great. At a talk, one of those talks. It's fascinating information. Great. And you know, oh, yeah. Of, yeah, we can I do will that. Be, I will be honored to, to share because, you know, I research and I want more people know and people understand and in some way motivate the people that also they research and, and learn more. Yes. Because we because need that. The basic today. is if you learn to nurture your physical body and your soul, 
you will be capable to realize whatever you want. Yes. I just heard the other day that the, one of the reasons the Inca civilization grew so big was because of their ability to grow nurturing foods. And they would go into an area, they would teach the people how to grow foods, and the people yeah. would just love them. And would so their, their, their kingdom, or whatever yes. you call Incas, it, became very big. In, Incas were the first civilization in the planet mm. they use technology to conquer other civilizations do you think they, they predate egypt and sumeria or equal well to no they they are in the same but in the andes there is other areas that now they are like five six thousand years old and the sumerians that is in between four and five thousand right Yep. And also Sapsay Woman has the shape, perfect shape that was Atlantic, Atlantis. You will see Sapsay Woman, it's incredible, yeah. What has the perfect shape incredible. of Atlantis? Yes. What? Because the feet Sapsay Woman. woman. Sapsay Cape? Woman. Where yeah. is that? Tuxay is that woman. In, in, in Cusco? Ah. Just close to the city of Cusco. It's uh -huh. a huge megalithic construction. Yeah. Ah. And the area for it show you that it's like, yeah. When and also they say the, the Babel Tower, because this was a construction, like they say, 80 meter tall. Mm. So we're talking about 240 feet tall. Mm -hmm. When you see uh, um, Saksai Huaman from above, it is so intricate and there's concentric circles, just how Atlantis was built. Oh, so, yeah. Wow, yeah. getting yeah. chills yeah. again. Says, were you yeah. getting any flashes as he was sharing these pictures constantly. of the civilization? Yeah. Oh, constantly. I was writing things down. I have so many questions, but I don't, you know. Ask me. <laughs> okay. Um, so, first of all, do you know where Oxal was from? Which star? Star? That was the woman that he had the experience with. Yes, it. yes. No, exactly. Uh -huh. Don't know because okay. uh, in the record of this, my friend uh, doesn't have exactly where, mm -hmm. but they have mm -hmm. thousand pictures and draws mm -hmm. wow. of this extraterrestrial living in the uh -huh. planet. Wow! Whoa, that gives me chills. yeah. For, for me, it was incredible because you know. I, I couldn't understand how this woman no perfect word to make a stop the taxi and mm -hmm. take me to this part that was in there. And after years, maybe 10 years later in San Francisco, California, in this is a mall that is in Market Street that is circular. I'm sure you know, Cecily, Cecily where is this? I do. And I was in this collider and was something strong that say, turn your face and I turn. And we sit to each other face to face. Yeah. And I say, hey. And she looked like, oh, she recognized me too. And she didn't want to yeah. to connect with me or something. And she started to, like, was like a part of a movie that I was wanting to jump to this mm -hmm. later to the other side, but was so crowded. And, and I lost, she ran and I lost. Do you, do you think that while you were up on the mountain that you were maybe um, taken and had something happen? Yes, my friend that he's into of this and extraterrestrial, he told me, you're lucky because maybe they will, her mission was take one to, to, to take you there and then yeah. she regret to, to do because maybe you're a, a nice person and she'll leave you. And, and she has as a, as a part of the punish to stay longer here. And so that is why I met again in san francisco uh -huh. and she couldn't she couldn't face me because she knew yeah and so that is why she ran uh -huh. because it was perfect her but with blonde hair the uh -huh. same eyes the same you know everything was was there yeah mm. yeah yeah that's a trip um i have an experience that is kind of connected because it's it's related to the anunnaki the anunnaki um, mm -hmm. I was once in um, South Africa, thanks to Carrie, at a, I met Michael Tellinger, and um, I went to Adam's calendar. And before you get to Ad Adam's calendar, you see the grave of Dumuzi, who was Inanna's consort, right? 
and um, they've already done tests and there's like a nine foot tall being under there. And I've always had this memory of knowing Inanna, or at one point I thought it was Inanna, but it pro I probably wasn't Inanna. But anyway, um, I was somehow involved in that culture. And when I was there and we did some ceremony at Adam's calendar, but I could literally, I was seeing all these tunnels underneath the ground and nobody had told me that. I just knew it. I saw them and they're still in use. And then later on, when I went back to the grave of Dumuzi, it was like I'd been there a million times just crying there. It was weird. And I went in there and I like sunk my soul down in there. And um, at that point, I realized that that being is in stasis and it's still visited. I don't think the Anunnaki, they're still visiting him. He's not actually dead. And, um, and then at one point, there was this sting, like a singe on my soul or whatever part of myself I'd put down there. And then I was like, oh, MG, I'm out of here. Forget the Anunnaki. Like that was, <laughs> it was like really painful. And I left and I'm like, I wasn't Inanna, you know, <laughs> but um, <laughs> like, I know they're still around. That's what I'm trying to say. Plus I had a trippy thing to share, but they're still around. I know they are. They still visit that particular tomb or the grave or that being in stasis. They're still around I, in the tunnels. There's other like, like in a lot of the pictures you were showing, it really looked like dragons to me. So, anyway, yeah, those a lot of those pictures you showed, yuck, look just like dragons. You know, even that last one with the the, the disc. Yeah. In a way, it looked like a dragon. And then I'm looking at the teeth, like in those little antennas. It kind of looks like some of the Chinese um, renditions, or uh, renderings of dragons. Do you know? I don't. Know. Yeah, I know. My experience is, I never feel fear. Yeah, I, I know why, because yeah. normally when you go to these places, dark and you are afraid, but always I am open and I say, OK, if I'm going to be transported to some other dimension, I don't care. I, I yeah. go. Beautiful. And that is why when, when I was in Amaru Moro in this in this portal many times, yeah. I do chanting, I do tuning, trying to open and trespass this portal and, and go to another dimension. But yeah, yeah. I didn't have success in doing that. I've, but done, I've done it too. Now that I discovered, yeah, and now that this this disc fits in there, yeah. and with all this information that I recollect from this and say, OK, this has to be the disc that fits in there. Because they talk about there is a disc, gold disc, that has to fit. and. David Wilcox and Graham and all these guys talk about this disc and they show other mm -hmm. figures of disc. Mm -hmm. And I, I think if they see this, they will understand now that that is the disc. Very yeah. Cool. That, so, you know, one of the things I see when I look at those little guys is, yeah. to me, they look like they have a helmet on. That whole mouth thing looks like a like a breathing device or something you wonder what they really are inside of those outfits that they're wearing and mm -hmm. if they really maybe don't have a body like we have a body but some other kind of body but they made themselves look like something we could relate to what do you think well you know like i say in in nazca they found these tiny beans that are c3 yes 15, 20 inches. Right. Mm -hmm. And they found the mummies. Mm. And I think they have just three fingers and mm -hmm. three toes. And so they were the size and they have like a human bodies, but yes. in different way. And the other amazing thing is these guys, they reproduce by X. Because in the X rise of these mummies, yeah. they found one that has three eggs in, 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 uh, in, this, like eggs. in the stomach. Wow, interesting. Yes. Eggs. Yes, eggs. they reproduce by eggs, not like the humans with, you know, the, carrying the, the creature baby in the, in the, in yeah. the We have eggs. Yeah, carrying the baby. They oh. carry eggs. Oh, they carry eggs like chickens. Yes. But they have inside and yeah, it's, and they found a lot. And there is one guy that he's a uh, like say Wakero, who who deal with digging in, in no good way, and because it's so huge the desert, and most people as the 
their work is do wakel. So they go to these parts with gold detector things and they start to dig in and they find things. Yeah. And they go to the collectors. They go to the mm-hmm. embassies. Because when I was living in Lima, it was incredible. Uh, I was living in Lima. I have many ambassadors as a friends, and they always invite me to their houses. We decide dinner and play chess. And then when I, we were playing chess, they started talking to me and they say, hey, look, I have a couple artifacts. Can you see if they are ah, real? Beautiful. And the artifacts were not couple. I get in the in, in in their houses in the embassy, and they have room full of, of these artifacts. Wow! And these guys right. is the reason why they go and dig and they sell to the embassies. Yeah. And of course, the ambassador, the ambassadors, these guys buy definitive. Yeah, because the figures of of the Chavin are a lot of reptilians in there. That are the reptilians that are the 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 like humanoids. They are part humans, part reptilians, part uh, birds or eagles yeah. or condors. Oh, definitely, they are reptilians there. Yeah, yeah. Aire says dragons carry eggs as well. That's an interesting oh. idea. Mm. Yes, yeah, very good. Yeah. And one that you know, food is important, people are saying. Yeah, yeah because you know, uh, in 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 the in the weavings of, of Paracas, there is huge like three meters weavings that they represent all these beings flying and all these tiny figures hanging around <laughs> and it's all the information in there about these beings. Mm. And have all this part of humans, part of reptilians, part of of birds. Mm. I've been in Paracas. That that would be interesting ah, to see. Yeah. Cecily, wouldn't it be fun to get when it's a little easier to travel? Let's get a group together and go down Let's and just do spend days with Iraq and and just listen and listen and listen and look and look and look and just saturate ourselves in this stuff. Let's I think it would be so much fun. Yes. Oh, I will be so pleased to to do that because I love my culture. I love to to share and I love to take people where most tourists don't go. I cannot Let's wait to go back. Oh, my God. There's so I'm many so things excited. I could talk about. Like when I, I've been there about four times. And when I was there one time, there were archaeology students staying at the same hostel I was at in PSAC. And they were telling us all these little places to go that nobody knew about. And that was amazing. We just go off on these little roads and there'd be ruins there. And um, Well, incredible. you are welcome because... Uh, my next adventure is coming soon. I am moving back and Yay. I am opening a center. I'm getting chills. Where we are going to do all these magic plants. Where yeah, we-, we will combine plant medicine with futuristic uh, medicine. Yeah. Because I've been training in Utah in the AOS scan. And this AOS scan is amazing. Wow. Just using this the computer and uh, headphones, they scan all your body and transform into into images, mm. and then they 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 give you the, the the levels of what is wrong, what is good in your body, and so you don't need a doctor for that thing. And of course, this AO scan is not approved by the F- FDA because they don't like it right. because this is accurate and easy. Yes. And what the normal medicine takes, for example, three months that right. they do in two hours. Yes. Plus, mm. this transform in frequencies where you can heal yourself with frequencies. Nice. Perfect. There is the light frequency that you can get the machine and also heal with light. But also, these frequencies that your body needs can be transformed into sound. And so you download in your iPhone and you put in your ears, you're working, you're driving, and you're healing yourself. <laughs> Perfect. So, so where are you going to be? combined with plant medicine is going to be wow. Yee, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Where are you going to be based out of? Uh, in Peru. Where? I'm going to go to Donde? Peru. Donde? I, I, I don't know exactly. I have two options. Mm-hmm. One is amazing option that is a luxury place. And in the next week, we are talking about the 
the amount of, of money that they want. And other ways I will be in, in the center of Peru or north border with Ecuador. There is another, they, we have three options. So, so it's more equatorial up there by Ecuador, right? I've been- Yeah, if we go to, yeah. to more the equatorial place, it's amazing, this, yes. this, this place yeah. is luxury too. Mm -hmm. It's in front of the beach and almost all year summer. Mm, yes. And so from there, we, we, we explore all the coasts and go to all the sites of Peru. Yes, and go to the mountains. Do you know the site that's kind of near Lima and it's sort of off towards the mountains, but it's, um, you start out in Lima and it's maybe Caral? two hours. Caral? Yes, yes, yes. Is that, Caral. Uh, what is that like? Well, that Caral is one of the ancient or the most ancient place in, in, in South America. It's like Four, five, four or five thousand years old. I've been feeling pulled and to go there. And the expert that study there, because all the in all the planet, the evolution from small villages to a big centers was by by war, conflicts. But in Corral, like in the ancient area of the Andes, all the evolution of this was by technology. Because the expert go and study and try to find weapons and things it reminds of war. No, they was all peaceful and they evolved with technology. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, very, very exciting. I think we need to bring this really great conversation to a close. I think uh, let's do another one where we talk about plants and plant medicines and oh yeah, um, definitely foods, superfoods. Because this is where we're going. And we know that there is the knowledge of very quick healing, a very quick cleanup of the yes. planet. And, and, and now more than before, we need to teach the people that the best way to, to have a healthy nutrition is instead of watering your flowers, you have to water in your food. I love it. It would be nice instead to have in front of your house, in the garden, all this grass and is have your food and will cost you the same and motivate all your neighbors to, to transform your your gardens into your 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 gardens for food plus now all the food are gonna kill us we need grow our own food that will nurture us yes 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 and no more poisons uh, this the in moment. the soil yes no the gmo the all the things it's crazy yeah, you know right. it's crazy yeah. If the people start to nurture us, we don't gonna be lack of food, right? Because now, yeah, they they, they are trying to control people, and they are making this lack of food and all those things. And now the people need to start to in a small spaces you can grow enough food yes. for all your family. You're making me hungry. And you know that I it's organic, I'm... that yes. is good, and you and you feed the plants also with love. Yes. You know, and so that will nurture your body and your soul perfect. I'm going to go make some organic and, potatoes right now. Yeah. I'm going to go make quinoa. the people that is <laughs> important <laughs> nurture their soul. Because some people just eat to, to nurture their body, but they are lack of nurture their soul. So when and should we do, nurture, so when should we do superfoods and, and growing things next Wednesday well, you, or? You, we can do the next Wednesday because. Let's and aim I for next Wednesday while we've got you here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And we talk about superfood and yeah. all the magic of the nutrition that yes that we have. Is that good with you, Seth? Uh, cool. Very good. All I'm right. Excited. Yeah. Well, we're going to say goodbye to everybody. Anybody, ha each of you have some words of wisdom for the, as we say, adios? Go ahead, Moises. I, yeah, yeah uh, well, uh, it was a pleasure to to see you again, Cecily, and meet you, Carrie. Uh, and it was an honor to share this information with all the humanity. And I am open to, to, to share more things about food, nutrition, and anything that is related with, with our beans and our extraterrestrial yeah. brothers and our planet and how to teach people to, to be healthy and safe. Thank you so Iyak, much. I have to say, Iyak is the most positive person I've ever known. Like mm. he is so positive. 
and um, I've known him for a while and he's had some, sometimes some, like we all have some difficult situations and he always turns it positive. Always, Beautiful. always, always. Yeah. He's an amazing person. Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I want to remind everybody to breathe, smile, and love <sighs> because as we do, we change ourselves and by changing ourselves, we change the world. So much love to all, yes. and we shall see you soon. Adios. Bye-bye. To Panachi's comment in the Inca language. And if you're Bye. feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are. Oh, now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far. century superhuman I know that the answers are inside I am 21st century superhuman now 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 is the time